Hey, and welcome to this video all about bubble icons. What you'll learn in this video are the three options you have when trying to get icons into bubble. I would suggest that you go with the method that is fastest and quickest to get your uh, app up. And then perhaps later you come back and do some polish work where you upgrade the icons. And I'll show you, we'll, t we'll discuss the pros and cons of these different methods and how you can get the polished look that you're going for and uh, making sure everything yeah, just looks really, really nice with your icon setup. So let's talk about those three options. Option number one, over here on the visual elements area, you'll see an option for an icon and that is bubbles out of the box element. Option number two, there are a number of plugins available where if you click add plugins and begin to search for the word icon, you will see a number of these available. That's option number two. Option number three is adding an image and then just going out onto the web and then uploading that into your into your icons. So while we're here in this plugins area, what we're gonna do is in this video, you'll see one, I'll go through the options that Bubble has out of the box, and then two, these plugins, I'm gonna go ahead and install. So when you search for icon or icons, you'll get a number of these that come up. What I wanna do is install the most popular ones. So, you know, 300,000, uh, 50,000 ish, 10,000 ish, Iconify, um, Password, these are kind of custom ones. Hero icons, these are uh, handcrafted SCVs. Cool, uh, animated ones, we won't discuss in this video, but a different one. And uh, there are, and we're only gonna discuss the free ones. So there are some additional options you could do if you were looking for something particular, you would just take the same um, ideas from this video and apply them there in terms of how to go out and find your icons. Um, this video is, you know, particularly for someone that has not jumped into building icons or done a ton of work in Bubble, these concepts are pretty simple for as far as the world of Bubble development goes, but I also understand if you've never seen this before, it's like, wait, what are you doing? Um, so I'm also gonna pull up one other uh, icon set called Ionic Elements. You can see that one has a ton of installs as well. And so here we go. We've got these, we've got, we'll have the bubble one, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five additional ones that we'll take a look at in this video. Let's get started with our analysis on these icons. So one of the things about the bubble icon set is for example, maybe you're looking for an arrow that doesn't actually have this um, horizontal line, you're just looking for that chevron as it's called. Um, well, okay, so you can see it here, I guess. Uh, not, not, not the greatest example, but you can see how thick this one is. Actually, what we'll do is we will get these, we'll standardize this to 100 by 100, and we'll use that throughout our analysis here of these icon sets. Okay, but look how, look how thick that is, and maybe that's not exactly the style that you're looking for. So the next one we're gonna do is this one, material icons. Notice on this option here, the left little icon for this one is, is a G for Google. It's actually a uh, popular iconography set that Google has made to kind of you know help standardize things as it were out in the world of um, uh, web and design on the internet. But so let's look here at these arrows. And so look, we've got a couple options here, right? We've got this bigger one, which is thinner. And then we've got, if we go back and search for arrow. So I'm not gonna spend a ton of time just looking at these very particular things, but now let's look at another thing, the bubble out of the box icons. Look, we can see that we have uh, popular, you know, social ones. Let's see, Insta, you can see um, social icons, but we can also find things in this icon set such as, um, you know, Visa, Stripe, PayPal, MasterCard, and then some currency options. Whereas, so for example, dollar, we can see a dollar sign there, but in other iconographies, we do not see those. And notice that, th I mean, this, this one had 300,000 downloads and uh, let's see this I icon Ionic one as well. We'll, we'll search for dollar and nothing there. Um, and we'll take a look at the arrow options with this one as well. So pretty standard stuff we can see here. Looks like there's a thin one and a thicker one. And then let's talk about things like 
pretty common icons that are used. You might use like a home icon. And if you were using only bubbles out of the box and you weren't using plugins and hadn't looked at this video and just simply did not know about this stuff, you would be kind of forced into using some icons that let's just say are not, I don't know, to me that's not, uh, I love good aesthetics. It's just um, something that I, I think can help a uh, user's experience online be uh, just a bit nicer. So, you know, this one with the chimney and this uh, just line in here, if you're, if you're hearing me say that and you're just like, I don't care, then no worries because I, I totally get that. It's a preference thing. Um, but this video is kind of trying to uh, get, you know, appeal to a wide audience as it were for those that might be looking for something particular. And if you were looking for something particular, then this is the video that's going to help you out really. Um, so. Yeah, what other types of icons do we have here? Well, you know, these almost look like snowflakes. Um, basically search through uh, all, the, all, the, all the different icon sets that you see here and um, hopefully you'll find, you know, through all of these options, what it is you're looking for. And again, our third option, as, we, as we'll wrap up with these plugins, third option will be for uploading an image. So let's take a look now We've, we've already looked at these panels of what's available. This is everything that's available in this Ionic one. Here is everything that is available in this Material Icon one. Um, so I just scroll through here. This one, there actually seems to be quite a bit more, the amount of scroll length compared to, so that's Google's setup. And then here is the bubble one and that one not as big again. So you can see why uh, it's valuable to know about these things and these various options. And then now here on our left side, I'm gonna move on to our next one, which is this Iconify. So we'll draw that in here. And one of the things about Iconify that you'll notice when you, when you load it up is that it's looking for this name here. And so you actually have to go out to uh, Iconify.design is the web URL here and then Let's see, so if we actually just go there, we'll start at the uh, homepage here, and then we'll dive into what is available. So, 100,000 icons. This is a great one to know about because when you go and browse these icons, you'll be able to see you know, exactly what it is you're looking for and perhaps you know, some, some very particular styles. So here is how you use this, part, this plugin. So for example, yeah, maybe you wanted something to talk about like Photoshop in, in your options. Um, so let's see. P.S. This is the this is the Adobe icon for Photoshop. So you'll let, you'll go and you'll grab this, uh, copy and paste this, and then over here on the name you'll enter that in. And then as we go, so I've got a blank page here up to preview this. We can see that that one turned into this Photoshop icon. Okay, cool. So that is how it works uh, with ba -ba -da -ba -bum, Iconify. Let's take a look at these last two icon sets. One is feather icon. So we'll drop that one in. And one of the things feather does is it has actually quite a bit of various options related to it, include fill color, um, so on and so forth. But one of the things that you'll notice here and these options are something easy to play around. But for example, when you change these, it doesn't actually change in the editor. It only changes out here on the preview. So you have to preview it, or the best thing to do really is to go to this site, feathericons.com, and you can see here um, all the different types. And then so say, for example, you want a cloud snow. Well, then over here, so we've got this uh, thing here. Let's look for under C cloud snow. Okay, so with that updated there, basically taking what you want from here and then setting that up, you can see the icon fill in here. And obviously updating the color or any setting such as that. Again, these uh, the best way to get yourself familiar with these is install it and play around with it. Great. Okay, now let's move on to our final plugin. This what is called the hero icons. And hero icons offers two different choices, solid and outline. And when you install a plugin, you'll see here outline and solid. So I'll do, I'll do, um, 
I'll do just the solid one for this demo. It's uh, it's exactly the same if you were to you know use the uh, outline one, and you can just see here, like for example, this academic cap cap. You can we are dealing with the solid one, and it matches this. And if it was the outline one, it would just match that. And so we have these adjustments. So as you can see, this style chat alt two cool. I like that one. So let me go look here and find chat alt 2 and what the heck we'll take a look at the outline as well and we'll look at chat alt 2 so we can compare apples to apples and so you can see one of them is filled in and one of them is this kind of outline so you would just take whichever uh, style that you're looking for and hopefully that has given you some ideas for what it is that you can find out there in this world of icons and obviously um, this is just a good uh, a good thing to know about uh, I want to I want to add some additional notes here though that for example um, things like this built-in bubble one they have an option to make the icon rotate as well as this iconify they call it spin and so we're just going to check those two and then see this here so we can see this Photoshop one spinning and this one okay I didn't click it and you can see this one spinning in the editor but why is that helpful well perhaps you would want to find like a loading icon So this one, for example, or here, let's see, we're looking over in the world of Iconify. So we'll say loading and this one looks cool. And then we'll take a look at that as a little side <laughs> side track here. But and let's see, I think, you know, because this one is, is, is moving, I don't think it has to have the spin thing checked. It's just a hunch. But so, for example, you could have a workflow that says, okay, now display this icon on a pop-up with like only this icon. And so while it's doing this, or display it in a group that's displayed while something else is happening in the background. And then when that other thing is finished in the background, then you run another workflow to hide. So that's just an example of how these can be uh, very useful. Okay, so now to our last example. Uh, we said there's three at the beginning. One, the bubble out of the box. Two, these plugins. And three, this option for images. So let's go ahead and add this image here. And I don't know if... Uh, so one thing to, to be important, or that is important for this, is that the size of image that you download from the web, make sure that it is about the size of this. I would say the more exact you can make it the better because then it won't have that pixelated effect. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and I'm going to upload like here's a social icon for Instagram. And so I'll just upload that. You'll want to make it fixed width and you'll want to let's see this is an image Okay, so if it is fixed width, then everything will fine, be fine. Otherwise, if for some reason you choose not to, make sure to have to keep the elements proportioned when the page is resized. Otherwise, things might start looking wonky. Okay, so this is the final option here, and we're just going to look at that. All right, and notice that this icon actually is a little bit blurry because it's something that's smaller than I um, w was using it for a particular scenario that uh, didn't need such a big icon. But if you are going to go out, and uh, the great thing is that you can find anything that you're looking for out on the web and then just upload it as an image following those steps. So hope that you have enjoyed this video. Oh, and one other thing that is a major bonus that I think people would like to know about is that notice how on this bubble one, the, the out of the box bubble icon, there's a start edit workflow. And there's also on the material icons one and the ionic ones. Some of the, the, those really mega popular ones. But some of these other ones, you actually don't have that option. So you might be in a position where you're like, hey, I wanted to put, uh, I wanted something to happen. When someone clicks this, I want to have a, um, a, workflow, a workflow run. And the, there, there's a few ways around that. But the easiest way, in my opinion, is to go under containers and grab a group. 
and then take this group and we'll send it to the back and then we'll take this plugin and we'll drop it there uh, let's see did I uninstall that I'm not sure why this why this uh, made this error when that happened but uh, I, I don't think actually something is really broke okay cool yeah yeah it's just it's just something uh, I need to refresh this page if I wanted that to go away which I'm not gonna do for now so what you would do is you have this solid icon inside this group and you could just make these so let's make this um, first off let's make this one one and if this is 100 100 we'll make this 102 by 102 and it, it can get tricky a little bit for the for dragging things around because I might have actually accidentally or you might accidentally undo that but so now what we have is we have with this group so here's the icon and then you can always go do 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 do, do what is the one um, select parent child so we want to select group A which is its which is its parent group and you can double check that over in your elements icon or elements tree here that this solid icon it has this and you can always also access the group from this uh, drop down so then you can click start edit workflow and that is a clutch way around any of the issues that you might have trying to use some of these icons where you're finding that there is no way to start a workflow so that's the secret